Hello everyone. In this short video, I want to talk about the uh, secondary auxiliary views. So if you looked at my videos for uh, different views in technical drawing, you learned that for an oblique uh, plane like this, or sorry, an inclined plane like this, which is perpendicular to my front view, okay? So if you look at my front view, you can see that this plane is perpendicular to my front view. So that one looks like an edge in one view and a surface in the two other views. And we know how to get the true size of this plane in the technical drawing. But for oblique planes like this that are not parallel and not perpendicular to any of the major views, how can we get the true size? So for them, a single auxiliary view is not going to work and we need a secondary. So not only we need the primary from that primary, we need to create a secondary auxiliary view to get the true size. So here I want to show you that. So uh, here I have made the drafting for the part, the front and the uh, top view. As I said, for a simple inclined plane like that, it's extremely easy. I just go to auxiliary view and choose this edge and, right, that should give me the auxiliary view for that plane like this. Look. So you can see that here, this view that you can see, this is what... This is the true size of that oblique plane, right? You clearly see that. So that's very easy, done. But not for this one. For this one, I do not have a reference edge like that. For this one, it appears as a triangle in both views. I do not have a reference edge, so I select it and it gives me the auxiliary view normal to that. So for this one, this is the technique that you need to... So for this one, you want a view where the one line on this plane, one line on this oblique plane, is the line normal uh, to that projection plane, okay? So basically, uh, you want a, a projection plane perpendicular to that, and for that reason, I need to go to sketch and draw a line on this view something like this and make sure this line is perpendicular to what to the edge on the um, plane okay so this guy is perpendicular to that you see i did it and you can always uh, ensure that by applying a constraint so you can select these two and then force them to be what force them to be perpendicular to each other, right? And they are, the way I did it, they are perpendicular, but here you can make sure that it is. So now look, you go to the drawing and you do auxiliary view. And for reference, you choose this guy. If you do that, now the direction of projection is gonna be perpendicular to this line, which is gonna be the same as that, what that edge. So here, look, I choose this. And now it is going to create it perpendicular to this vertical line or in the direction of the edge, as you can see. And what's so good about it? Well, I'll tell you. Look at that. What do I have in this view? Yes, you are right. If you look here, what is this edge? You're right. This edge here is the projection of the triangular oblique plane. So in this uh, first view, which we call it primary auxiliary view, okay, in this primary auxiliary view, I could convert my oblique plane into an inclined plane. Now, if I look in the direction normal to this edge, I should get it the right size, okay? And the problem is, if you go with this uh, auxiliary view and you choose this edge, Unfortunately, it does not give you what you expected. Like you, you expect a, an auxiliary view in the normal direction to that edge to show up, but look, actually it doesn't.
So let's take a look at that. Here, you see? Clearly, you can see this triangle there, and it did not really go in that normal direction. It chose another direction. So uh, if you want to do it, my recommendation is go to the sketch and draw a line on this primary auxiliary view. Draw a line like that, and make sure this line is parallel to this projected edge, like this. If you force these two to be parallel and choose this new sketch for the auxiliary view instead of the edge on the view, that is going to work. Okay, so here we are going to force them to be parallel to each other and we are going to create um, a secondary auxiliary view. Okay, so now that it's done, we go here and then we choose this. Look, here we go. So now, there we go. Look at that. Now the oblique plane is created full size. Okay, so this is what I would call a secondary auxiliary view. Okay, this guy was here. This one was the primary auxiliary view, that you can see. And this one is called the secondary auxiliary view. So I thought I would share this with you, especially since I have seen this uh, kind of true size of oblique views using two views uh, to be uh, used in some SOLIDWORKS certification exams, right? I wanted to make sure I show you how to do this. So if you pass a, uh, if you want to pass a certification test or something, you don't get uh, stuck. Hopefully it was useful to you and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.